So the framework is uh, was developed over um, a number of years. It wasn't meant to be a number of years, but with the uh, pandemic and a few snowstorms, uh, it, it took a little while for us to um, to develop it. And every every phrase, every word was well thought out and well discussed, uh, including the title. So let's we'll just start with the title. Um, Initially, when we started this process, it was before the pandemic, and we thought about um, not putting the words mental health in the framework, simply because uh, at that time we were worried about stigma. We were worried that um, people would look at this framework and say, oh, this is the work of counselors. Um, and then the pandemic happened, and positive mental health was the phrase that people were using to describe uh, what you know what we're all after. So uh, it, it became very easy to put it back in the title. So we titled it the Positive Mental Health in West Vancouver Schools um, because that is what we are trying to achieve. We wanted to make sure uh, anything that we wrote in the uh, framework was in common everyday language. And if it, we were gonna use words, we wanted to make sure um, that those words were defined and well described. Um, so, you know, we started with just saying, what is this document? Um, and it was important for us to, you know, say that it was in line with Indigenous ways of knowing. We had the uh, first people's principles of learning in the room with us every time we discussed the framework and continually referred back to it to make sure that things aligned with it. Um, and this framework is really just providing common language uh, and understanding around mental health to guide our work forward and identify the goals for the support of the whole community. So we started by asking ourselves, what, what, is, it, what is our purpose of, in writing this? What is it we want to do? So we, we wrote our mission statement as, um, we aspire to foster resilience, social emotional well-being, and positive mental health. And so again, we wanted to make sure that we define those words in the framework. Resilience, um, you know, the ability to bounce back after, um, you know, adversity. And this become, became very uh, front and center during the pandemic. We all talked about, you know, how can we build resilience uh, in, in our people? Um, social emotional well-being, those are the competencies as outlined by CASEL um, and we just wanted to make sure that our framework aligned with the work of CASEL. So we wanted to make sure that that was part of our, um, part of our, our framework and defined. And then positive mental health, we wanted to recognize that this is not a one and done, this is something that is continually worked on throughout our lifetime. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we honored what our students told us uh, in that really all emotions are valid and our positive mental health uh, is informed by those emotions. Um, we wanted to, to recognize that this isn't easy work, that it takes a lot of courage, it takes patience, and we do have to remember to be humble and that we can't know what somebody is going through at any one time. Um, then we decided uh, as we worked through our data and all the ideas that were, were brought to us to uh, basically have four guiding principles uh, to guide our work in mental health. And those principles are involved being holistic, relational, inclusive, and a shared responsibility. So by holistic, what we mean is um, that all of our health is interconnected and it's not just, um, you know, the emotional or cognitive domain, but we're also talking about the physical and, um, you know, social and emotional domains as well. So it's all part of well-being and these things are interconnected. And what we recognize if we're working on uh, improving our physical health, for instance, we're also working on our mental health because they are related to one another. Then we wanted to recognize that uh, mental health is not the work of one sector of people. It's not just the work of counselors. This is a shared responsibility with all of us. 
especially in schools, um, you know, that's, it, the teachers need to be involved, the administrators, our support staff, everybody is, is part of um, creating positive mental health uh, in schools. So we wanted to make sure that that was recognized uh, and we recognize as well that it's not just the work in schools, but we really do need our community partners uh, and need to communicate and work collaboratively with them. Then we wanted to recognize that positive mental health was really uh, about relationships. And when we are building connections and when people have a sense of belonging, that's when positive mental health thrives. Um, and what we wanted people to know is that you didn't have to be trained in mental health interventions. You don't have to be a trained counselor. You just need to show that care and compassion. Uh, that is what really makes schools a special place. And we all have that ability to improve mental health in schools just by being the caring, compassionate, and empathetic people that we are. And then the last piece uh, is we wanted to recognize that positive mental health is dependent on um, the social determinants of, of health. Uh, you know, how are people treated? Do people feel that they are treated with dignity and respect? Do they, do they have equitable access to learning? So we wanted to recognize that we can't be talking about the positive mental health of people if they are being oppressed and if they're being marginalized. Um, for instance, you know, we can't just talk about what are we going to do about the anxiety for students who identify as LGBTQ, for instance. If we are not addressing all those things that happen in our schools that marginalize people, that make them feel like they don't belong, uh, which make them feel like they're other. So inclusive is, is a very key part of positive mental health. We need to make sure that um, our work recognizes that um, we still have a ways to go to make our learning environments equitable uh, and recognize diversity and um, to, to create that inclusion that we know is so necessary for everyone to thrive.